In this setup, we will be examining loaded versus unloaded voltage dividers. In the current unloaded configuration, we have two 1000 ohm resistors, one kilo ohm resistors, connected in series on this breadboard with wires going into the DC power supply that is currently set to six volts as a, as a voltage control source. We have infinite current, controlled voltage, and we can verify that indeed six volts drops across this load by just placing our uh, prongs at the ends of this entire load to verify that it is indeed six volts. The first step in this unloaded voltage divider would be to look at the voltage across each one of these uh, partial loads uh, independently. So for one of the one kilo ohm resistors, we can place our clips across it and look at the voltage drop across just the one of the one kilo ohm resistors. And we see that the voltage drop is 3.0023, 3.00, well it oscillates between two and three, but 3.00 roughly volts. We don't have to look at the other load because it's symmetric, but nonetheless, let's look at it to confirm our beliefs. And indeed, it is roughly, again, 3 volts. In this case, it shows us 2.982 volts. In the next set up, we look at a loaded voltage divider, where we look at this 3.3 kilo ohm resistor to be connected in parallel to one of the 1000 ohm resistors. I will connect it in parallel to this one right here as so. So this one goes here and now I have connected it right there. So as shown in the lab manual, the circuit diagram, we now have the, in the, the usual 1 kilo ohm resistors in series. However, now we have a loaded 1 kilo ohm on one of them. Uh, this is a 3.3 kilo ohm um, resistor, and uh, that is in parallel to one of the 1 kilo ohm resistors. Once again, to verify that indeed we still have 6 volts dropping across the whole system, we can look, and lo and behold, we still have 6 volts. But what is interesting now is we can observe the voltage drop across each one of these 1000 ohm resistors. Across the 1000 ohm resistor that is now loaded, when we place the pins like we had before, when we, had, when we place the connectors like we had before, now on the other hand, we see that the voltage drop across this 1000 ohm resistor, in parallel of course with the 3.3 kilo ohm resistor is 2.605 volts. As a sanity check, we can always look at the voltage drop across the 3.3 uh, kilo ohm load. And we expect it to be roughly the same because they're connected in parallel. And because they share the same input and output nodes, the voltage drop across both resistors must be the same. Likewise, if we look at the voltage drop across this 1 kilo ohm resistor that is not loaded, we see that now there is a higher drop on this load than there was in the unloaded scenario. Now, for the one kilo ohm resistor that in fact does not have a parallel resistor attached to it, there is a 3.402 volt drop across this uh, one kilo ohm resistor.